Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be building a social media website using WordPress and the BuddyPress plugin. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so first you'll just need a WordPress website. So I just installed the blank WordPress website here on my development server. So we can get started by installing the BuddyPress plugin. So go here into plugin and then add new. Okay, and then after we're going to search BuddyPress. And then we're going to click the first one and then we're going to activate. Okay, great. So it's installed. So next what we're going to do is go into settings here, but actually first we're going to fix this error here where it says update the permalink structure. So instead of plain, we're just going to change it to post name and click save changes. Okay. So next we're going to start to configure the buddy press components here. So let's click repair. Okay, great. So let's click save settings. And then registration, we just need to make it so anyone can register. And then save these changes as well. And then we're gonna go into the BuddyPress settings. And here's all of the components that we can add. So right now we just have extended profiles, account settings. So we want them, we want this to be like Facebook so we can add friend connections, private messaging. Okay, so we have activity streams. So that's like news feed. And then we have notifications. Let's add user groups as well. Okay, great. So now let's go into options. Okay, so we wanna allow them to delete their account. So we're using the new template. So these are just the member settings. Okay, yeah, we can make them register. So we're not gonna enable membership requests for now. Okay, and we're gonna enable post comments. Click save settings. Okay, so let's check the pages. Yep, so we have just your standard groups, activity streams, members, register and activate. So now let's check the home page and see what we have so far. Okay, so we just need to edit the initial page to I think the activity feed. So let's go here into reading. And then a static page for the home page. Let's just say act, let's just say activity. And then click save changes. And now let's go back to the home page. Okay, great. Yeah, so this is the activity feed. Here and I'm currently logged in, so I can post an update. So let's say my first post. Okay, great. And then people can comment, favorite, and delete. So next, let's just see the profile. So we can click on our profile here. Okay, awesome. So you're able to edit your profile here. So let's add a picture see here so go into your profile and then edit okay and then let's just write my name awesome so it updates here and we can add a profile image so let me just pick out my picture and then crop Great, so my profile picture is there, and then we can add a cover picture as well. Awesome. So this is, the profile section is working great. So here we have our notifications and our messaging, our friends, our groups, invitations. So you can invite your friends to join the website and then settings. So this is just your email and password. Okay, so let's just customize the theme so it looks a bit better. So we go up here into customize. Okay, and then site identity. Let's just pick a logo. Okay, I'll just use my business logo for now. Let's remove the tagline. 
Now this is a little bit big, so let me see if I can crop it further. Okay, so select and then I'll just crop it so it's a, a rectangle shape. Then crop. Okay, great. So yeah, this looks better. And then here in BuddyPress Nouveau, we're going to go into the settings. Let's see here, use round style. Okay. So just these are just some generic settings. Okay, we'll just leave this disabled for now until we get to that page. Let's go into directory layout. Okay, so this is just the way that these filters are laid out, but I like the default version. Okay, so that's fine for now. And then we're going to create a menu next. So let's go to publish. So we're gonna add the menu here. So we're gonna do like home, log out, log in. So go here into menu. Okay, and then we're gonna create a new main menu. Okay, so register, members, activate, groups. So let's save that. And then add it to the primary menu. Okay, and then we're gonna check out the front end. Okay, great, so we have this here. But the thing is we're already registered, so it doesn't really make sense. So we need to kind of change that a little bit. Okay, so what we can do is we can install a plugin just so we can add some logic to the main menu. Okay, so let's just go back and edit the menu. Activate, we don't need. Register, we don't need. And members, I think we can change this to friends. And then we can add another, we can add a custom link for just feed. Then it's just gonna be the home page. Okay, so let's just double check this. Visit site. Okay, feed, groups, friends, and then here what we want to have is log in and log out. So in the dashboard, we're going to need to install conditional plugin. Okay, so conditional menus. And we're going to click activate. Okay, so next we're going to go here into manage locations. And then we're going to add a conditional menu. If user is logged in, then it will show the main menu. Okay, so we'll make two menus, one for logged in and logged out. Okay, and then we're going to create a custom link log out okay so here up in the upper right corner i'm just going to copy the standard logout link and then we're going to copy link address and paste that okay and just remove that wp once and then click save menu okay now let's try this again then clear the cache then click log out Great, so yeah, so the logout is working. Okay, so now let's create the main menu for logged out users. So go into main menus. And then we're gonna create a new menu. Logged out, and then we're just gonna put it as the primary menu. Okay, and then we're going to go add some pages. So what we want is just a register page here. Okay, so add register. And then add login as well. So we could just add the register again and just change it to login. Okay, and then here in manage locations again let's just add the conditional menu users logged in then we're going to change the menu to logged in okay so let's view the website let's log out log out go back to the home page okay so we can see the activity feed here Let's go into register. Okay, great, so we can register here. Okay, and then we just need the login to be just the standard WP engine login. Okay, and then back here into menus, we wanna change the login to a custom link. And it'll just be this URL here. 
and then say menu. Okay, so now let's try to create a new account. So I'm gonna send an invitation to myself. Okay, I'm gonna click send. Okay, so this is the invitation email. So what we wanna do is go into accept your invitation. Okay, great, so now I can make a new username. So let's just do this again. Okay, great, so the account is activated. So now we need to log in. Okay, great, so I'm able to create an account. So let's just go here and add as a friend so we can test this and then we can do mentions and then we can also do private messages okay so this is, would be the private message and send that awesome so this is our little chat we have going on here and then the friends so on the other account you need to accept the friends first and then groups let's just create a group and see how that works let's go here into groups and then create a group. Okay, great, so we can make groups here. So let's just say WordPress development. Create group and continue. Okay, great, so you can have public groups, private groups, and hidden groups. So let's just make this an open group. And click next step so again you just need to upload an icon so we'll just use this click next and then just a cover image we can skip that for now and then we can invite okay great so you can invite all the members in your community here and then click finish awesome so we have our little group here now which is a subsection of the general public feed. Okay, so let's try to improve this by editing it so that there isn't any WordPress branding. Okay, so we're gonna also see if we can fix having a custom login screen as well. I think that will help with the user experience so it doesn't look like a standard WordPress site. So let me just log in back into the admin account. So back here in the admin, we're gonna add some, a few plugins. So we're gonna add is, yes, okay, so we're gonna do hide admin bar. Okay, so this one here looks nice. Hide admin bar from non-admin users. Okay, and then activate that. And then after we're gonna add another plugin for custom login screens. Okay, here, login press. Okay, and then here in login press, let's see what they have available. Okay, go hit down here into customizer. Okay, great. So now we can change everything. So like the logo, let's just use this one here and make it a bit bigger. Awesome. And then username, password, and then just the background we can change or just a color for the time being would be better. Yeah, let's just stick with a color. Let's just do the blue. Yeah, so these are all paid features, but I think just the default one is fine. Let's click publish. Okay, so it's published. So let's go back. Okay. So now let's try logging into our other account again. Great, so this is the new login screen. Let's go back to the home page. Okay. So here's the public activity feed. Let's go into login. Okay, great. So this looks a lot more branded. So let me try to log in. Okay, awesome. And then the WordPress top bar is hidden as well. So the only thing we have access to is just the social media link. So if we see back here in the admin, we're able to still see the WordPress admin bar. So let's just go see our friends and just accept the request, friendship requested, and then click accept. And there we go. We have friend requests working on our social media platform. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you're able to create a social media website using this tutorial. If you'd like more professional help, then you can check out my agency, maplitmedia.ca, which provides WordPress development services. 
Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.